Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. It's Big Al. And uh, this is kind of going to be a uh, sort of a rerun video. Not the same lock, but sort of. Uh, this is one of those Harbor Freight paddle locks. Uh, I did uh, a couple videos back. Um, and I mentioned how horrible the uh, cores were in them. And I actually pinned one up, or uh, actually uh, rebuilt one with an American core in it. I bought several American cores and, and, and kind of rebuilt the lock. This, I bought two more of these today. I'll just end up giving them away in, in uh, upcoming uh, box trades or whatever. I'll just give the, these two I bought today away. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick this one. And like I said, I bought two today. So I've got another one already disassembled. So we don't have to waste time disassembling this one to show you. I'm going to pick it just so we can have a stock lock Sunday little little fun picking for stock clock Sunday and then I'm going to show you the horrifying and I mean horrifying cores that are in these if you haven't seen them yet you're fixing to but like I said let's uh let's see if we can't open this one first um these are the honestly they can be a little bit tricky because the for me these spring loaded cores they can be a real pain in the butt but let's see if we can't get it open then I'll show you what's inside these horrible Horrible cores, man. So let me see. Let that drop. I'll just pin one. I thought it was open. Maybe not. It's hard to tell where the where you're at with the core and the whoa and the spring loaded part. So good. Pin two, pin one. Oh, I thought it was open. I'll be damned. All right, five, four. Pin one. No, maybe five. Is that it? No, I'll be damned. Making a fool out of me. Four, two. So, not too horrible, uh, but these uh, these two I bought today, these are like 10 bucks a piece, at least at my, they're $9.99 at my, at least my local Harbor Freight. Now, what I was talking about when I did that uh, video recently on the, the other Harbor Freight lock, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring the, my little handy table down here so we can zoom in on the core that are inside of these locks. Feast your eyes. On one of the most horrible cores, at least that I've ever seen, in a padlock. I mean, look at this. For one, I mean, you can see. Let me get my little pointer thing. For one, you can see when they put these holes through this. Uh, I guess the Bible we call these. They almost went through the top. You can see the dimples. So I mean, just horrific. Now, 
look at this flipping core. I mean, look at this thing. One one side of it is you can see the machining where they just gutted the you know the heck out of it. It's just they're horrible. And actually, there's not even a clip on the back of these, so they put in that. That's what this sixth pin right here on the on the board right here is. Sorry about that. Uh, that's what actually holds the lock together. It goes in this slot right here. But I mean, look how much of this core is just gone. I wouldn't be surprised. I wonder if anybody's tried it. If you can maybe just stick a some kind of strong, maybe some strong metal in there, even a, maybe a really good screwdriver, and just twist this thing to snap it open. I'm not sure. But that's the, that. I'll tell you what, let's do this. If anybody can mention uh, or even show a worse lock than this or a worse core than this, uh, let us know in the comments, all right? I'd be very interested to know. <laughs> now, uh, that'll wrap up this episode of Stock Lock Sunday right there, but I also wanted to show off that thing I was making. Uh, Y'all remember another recent video I did where I was trying to uh, gut... Uh, a smaller euro cylinder um, this follower right here didn't fit I needed one a little bit smaller and when you're using a front loader you got to have this special kind of follower to work it from the front this one didn't fit so I made this one right here out of copper I just took a piece of copper tube and used my uh, Dremel with uh... someone asked about that too now I do this a lot these cutoff wheels for Dremels you can stack two or three of these together to get a wider cutoff wheel. I do it all the time. That's what I did here. And then I did the same thing to make this spiral part, like on this. I just took and went, I, I drew my line first, my spiral, and then I just went back and forth and back and forth until it went through. And then I just did the cleanup with a needle file and some sandpaper. And then a buffing wheel on my little... uh bench top grinder I got a buff wheel on it so and then I put this handle through it so I can operate it so it came out pretty damn good I'm proud of it uh, and I did try it it does work um, I will uh, debut it on an upcoming video so we can see it working all right that'll wrap it up as always if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you comment I will get back to you um, everyone have a fantastic week Big Al signing out